Health experts predict that nearly 25% of the world's population will be obese by the year 2045, and that one in eight will have type two diabetes. Of course, we know in our country, the rate has already surpassed 30 plus percent in terms of obesity. But a new study says genetics or your family isn't always to blame for you being fat, it really is your unhealthy diet. So let me explain. Scientists at King's College London explored how chemical reactions in a person's gut affect how fat develops in the body. They looked at 500 pairs of twins, right? Twins, identical twins, exact same genetics. They looked at changes in their gut bacteria based on stool samples, and their analysis revealed biomarkers, molecules, genes, or characteristics, which caused fat to build up at the waist, and they found that only 18% of that process occurring in the gut, which controlled fat storage, was hereditary. Meaning things like your diet that does de help to develop these good gut bacteria, your gut microbiome. So if you think about that, we maybe used to say, well, maybe it's 80% genetic. Now we're saying in this study, it's, it's less than 20%. And it's way more lifestyle, way more how you're eating. And it all makes sense because we used to look at connections in the family. But now we know when we look at connections in the family, we find that people who have very similar gut bacteria, similar diets, they are maybe as a family more likely to be overweight or more likely right. to be at normal weight. But it's not necessarily due to the genes. And I think this is a breakthrough. I think this is exciting because it means we do hold the key. We hold the tools. Well, it just yeah. gives people more hope because so many people that are fighting a weight problem, they go, oh, it's my genetics. I'm doomed. Right. You know, no matter how, how hard I try, I'm not going to beat this. Well, this just supports the fact that you can beat it with diet. And exercise. Absolutely. And like you said, you really do adopt certain habits while you're growing up, and it can be hard to shake those habits. And so. And you know what is a really good takeaway also for parents or soon to be parents? So, when I was doing research for my last book, The Lose Your Belly Diet, which is all about the gut microbiome and how it affects how much you weigh and how good you feel, lean people in general had 70% more gut bacteria, more diverse species. But parents, you do sort of pass this genetic code onto your kids. And that's why I, I tell parents, mothers-to-be, all of us, if you can increase the amount of fiber in your diet, that's the food that these gut bacteria live off of, you're doing a great thing for you more satisfied. But every day, try to fit one probiotic food, even if it's just yogurt, but the cool new ones, kimchi, kombucha, we all love sauerkraut. Now, for fermented sauerkraut, look for live and active cultures or kefir. If you can add one of these a day, add more fiber to your diet, you may very quickly start to see a change in your gut bacteria. I wrote that whole book about it because I started to make these changes. And we've forgotten how important our gut environment is to our overall weight. So give this a whirl.